prototype first round today. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I have my first prototype running and doing the first uh, run today. It's kind of working, needs much more weight than I was uh, expecting. But so now I can start improving the prototype. But let's have a look closer. View on the escape mount. Since it's a particular escape mount, put it on the front. And like I said, I'd put one weight, two weight, three weights. To keep the clock running. It has a 120 teeth escape wheel, so it does one rotation in four minutes. I will have a dial for the seconds here. Actually, there'll be four dials, but every quarter of a turn it will start again. We'll go from zero to 60 seconds here. The hands will be here, that will be the middle of the face. The face will be fixed to these two holes here. There's a pickup gear behind here. The power for the hand will come out here. I'm debating about making a bigger drum so I have less weight. I have almost 10 kilos. And then also have a fine tuning nut at the top. Once I have the clock close to running in time, I'll be able to make fine adjustment at the top without stopping the clock. I will add then to the circular cheeks that John Harrison was using. The spring, it's a 0.5 millimeter piano wire. The, the clock is made as two assemblies. All the gears and the clock, basically. And then the wall frame with the pendulum. The pendulum has a suspension spring. So the pendulum has a suspension spring. I use a 0.5 millimeter piano wire in this case. You can see the circular cheeks that Harrison design. He made the uh, rages adjustable. I had to kind of make some guess on how much to use. It's about 60 millimeters here, I think. There's a fine tuning option at the top when the clock is close to being beat. You can finish the tuning by adjusting this without stopping the clock so it can still go with this nut that will be up here and um, there will be two or, two or three millimeters of adjustment and then the clock sits on those two studs here so the back frame the clocks will sit here and that's a circular shape so there's still some a little bit of leveling for the for fine leveling the crotch that goes into that slot I need to do 
uh, counterweight to have the anchor balanced. I forget to do that. Counterweight to balance the escape the anchor because the escapement is not symmetrical. It's this little composer that push the pallet to engage one on each side. The escape wheel has a 120 teeth so that's for so one rotation takes four minutes have the rewind ratchet on this side and have the maintain See the maintain spring here on this side. Put the ratchet backwards. <laughs> then I have the drum, it's 50 millimeters. So I'm planning to do make. I'm going to try a bigger one, 100 millimeters, to have less weight and see if I can improve the friction. Put all the shafts on bearings to minimize the friction, but still it seems it's not enough. So, like I said, so when the clock is on the wall support, there's still a little bit of adjustment to fine-tune the leveling of the clock and then there'll be nuts there'll be nuts at the back to hold it in place so still some work to do to finish it but our first run it's pretty good Still have my clock, still running good. It has a drift of maybe two or three minutes per week right now. Also found an app to track the the timing. It's called Cuckoo Cuckoo Clock Calibration on the App Store. I use. You can use the internal microphone. The app will turn. I use an uh, external with hooked up just here next to the anchor. It shows the beat, but you can see there's a lot of noise in between. But mostly for one dollar, it's one dollar, it's worth it. It gives a lot of information on the clock is working. You can see one side is much noisier than the other one so there's probably some too much play in this escapement or the anchor that I could improve. And you can see that the time it's about very close to one second beat Sometimes a few milliseconds extra. So pretty cool, pretty cool app. Okay, so stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, and let's see how I can make this one work out. Thank you for watching. Bye.